Hello everyone. This is a continuation of the previous lecture. So if you haven't seen that, I would strongly urge you to have a look at that. In the previous example, we saw that we were able to find out how many customers are purchasing an exact number of times. Now this time we have a data set where the order IDs are being repeated. For example, Aaron Davies Bruce has 91253 as the order ID four times. Maybe that order ID had four different line items in it. So the first thing we want to do is to remove the duplicates. Of course, we can select the two columns, go to data, remove duplicates, and it will remove all the duplicate values for us. It makes sense to learn it the longer way because that level of calculation might also help you. So the first thing is to create a unique list of the customer name and the IDs combined. So I'm concatenating the customer name and the order ID and taking out a unique list, which is what we would have done with the data remove duplicates as well. But now we want to separate the order ID and the name. So I'm going to separate the order ID and the name. The order ID would be equal to write of d2 hash comma five. And the name would be equal to left of d2 hash. And the number of characters would be length of d2 hash minus five. So we get the name as well. So far, so good. And now we want to do a count, which would be count if dollar if dollar two hash comma if two hash. What this means is that I want to find the count of the name. So Aaron Davis Bruce is coming once, Aaron Day is coming two times, Aaron Dillon is coming three times. Now obviously it doesn't make sense for me to have the name coming multiple times. So let me find a list of unique names. That's very easy. Equal to unique of F2 hash. Now we can do a new count which would be equal to x lookup searching for i2 hash in f and g great so what we have done is that from column f and g which had 7123 records since the names were being repeated we have reduced it to column I, which is only 2703, which is a list of unique names. And then we have one final step. If you look at this data, you will notice that no single customer has more than 17 transactions. So let me create a sequence of 20. And then we can find the frequency, which is equal to what if let me do that once again, equal to what if where we are looking at 
J2 hash and the criteria would be L2 hash. Very nicely, it gives us a sum of 2703. So it's telling us that there are 2703 unique customers where the order ID might also be the same. And out of 2703, 1027 customers have purchased exactly one time. You can also look at the cumulative frequency, which would be sum of dollar m dollar two colon m two divided by two thousand seven hundred three. Let's drag it down. As you can see, it tells me that 99% of my customers are purchasing less than or equal to 10 times. And there is only 1% of customers are purchasing unique orders more than 10 times. And this would be very significant for a business when you want to look at the basket size of an individual.